The Hebrew text in the Bible has hidden formats. By revealing these formats, I will prove the first writer's words were hidden from you. These formats look like poetry as I group them into small paragraphs. Their grouping will become known as a psalm, and together they become psalms. Let me show you our Creator's 12 commandments, listed in Exodus chapter 20, verses 1 through 17. Any father of a family or his wife who did not obey any one of these 12 commandments, our Creator demanded they bring him a sin offering. Thus, our Creator defined the word sin as not obeying any one of these 12 commandments. Next, I want to show you how I changed one word in Exodus 26, verse 26, the word bars to arches, and the words now reveal the style of the roof for our Creator's tent for meeting with him. Let me show you the translator's words from the preface of the 1611 King James Bible. They gave four reasons for themselves or others to edit the Bible's words. The red arrow at the top points to their third reason to edit the text. By the light and feeling we attained unto ourselves. The next red arrow down points to them giving the title, the divine, to a clerk named Gregory. The next block of words, they point out they were happy that the first emperor of Rome established the year to the course of the sun. Behind this text means Nebuchadnezzar ordered his kingdom to follow our creator's calendar when he stopped eating grass. Did you notice the letter S in sun is capitalized? This is to give respect to the Egyptian sun god Ra. Have you seen the Egyptian obelisk in the Vatican's front yard? The last arrow points to your reward for studying the Bible. Your reward is to have a fellowship with the saints and participation of a heavenly nature that will never fade away. There is no such thing as nature to a truthful Christian. Our Creator created everything. By their own words, they were not seeking to know our Creator or Jesus. Not everyone has the knowledge to correct every word. I have an old Bible program that has the New American Standard Bible 1977 concordance to help find a better word. Their concordance has the number of times they use that English word in a parenthesis for that Hebrew word. The translators removed his name, YHVH, to put in two titles, Lord and God. I replaced those titles using the letters Y and V as his name. For the Hebrew language does not have a J, O, or W. By using these two letters, I am closer to the truth than anyone using J, O, or W for his name. So why is there a single letter O in the Hebrew text 1,095 times? No proper English was used. The blue highlighted text is text that I am removing. The red highlighted words are little words that I'm adding. Gray italic words are words that I added. To respect and honor our Creator, all capital letters in purple are our Creator's words. This is Jesus' prophecy, for I am revealing the first writer's words to tell you the true truths about Jesus. As the text is revealed, you can read taste the writer's style of wording. Their words will take your belief to trusting our Creator. You will be watching prophecy before your eyes as I added true truths back into their songs. All right, this will be Malachi, and you are watching history and prophecy at the same time. Um, the text above me is what I'm going to do uh, to show you how to find it, uh, the formats. And that's just breaking them up to get to the shortest verse. And then to correctly put in the correct text. And that takes a little bit of a skill. So what I'm going to do now is um, put up my memes and then go from here. Okay. The word oracle is a pagan word. That's what you'll hear out of the Greek mythologies and the oracle from Delphi. So they have a pagan word right in here, right off the bat. Um, but the thing here is, is I can get rid of this and say words 
In this, I'm going to honor and respect our Creator by using all capital letters in that color. And I will add like that green to say that I'm adding to the text. And you can see that I'm going to get rid of these words here in the blue highlighted. And this here is not of YV, but from him. And so I will do that and do that and then get rid of that. Words from YV to Israel. Now this is the nation Israel. And what I do to highlight that, I make it all small caps because they're the evil ones. Or if they're good, I will use all caps and I'll make it bold and keep it as black text. To Israel, and I will do that through Malachi. Okay. Now, if it turns in that it's going to be a vision, I will put vision there, but I need to know the story as it's going through. Um, by the way, these are 1977 NSAB because I have this concordance that you've seen that I can click on and easily get to uh, the concordance to see how many times they used one word differently. Um, that's the dirty secret of the text, that the Hebrew word can mean many things. So, I have loved you, says Whitey, that's... But you say how? If you loved us. Now that's kind of odd because all of a sudden our creator is speaking in third person. So, was not Esau Jacob's brother? Oh, by the way, the, high, the fuchsia colored words are the words that they added to the 1977 NSAB. And I believe it was probably 10,000 words. And probably if you got the latest, newest one, they probably added maybe 10,000 every time they've done that. So maybe they've added 50,000 more words. So the Bible is not being truthful. They keep adding words. They don't need to add words. It should have been done and over with. Um, but Esau, Jacob's brother, declares wifey, yet I love Jacob. Now, what the heck is this meaning? I have hated Esau, and he really didn't do that at what time, because Actually, his prophecy to um, Rebecca, Isaac's wife, um, that she was going to have uh, two children. She had was going to have twins, and um, they're both going to have a kingdom. And so the thing here is, is he didn't really hate, uh, hate Esau. So now that's funny because that text doesn't go with this text. I have made his mountain desolate. And appointed, and appointed his inheritance the jackals of the world. <laughs> this is just not making any sense. None of this is true. 
because you know where Edom is at, and that needs to be pointed out. Let's see if I have a map that's got Edom on it. Okay. Here. This is where he was uh, born. And Esau leaves Israel, his brother, after they buried their father, Isaac. And he travels down, and this is his mount. Okay? And it's pretty much the rivers are the boundaries. So this is the mount that... Um, Esau's sons grew up in owning as a kingdom. Okay, so that is where Edom is at. And uh, there is no mountains. It would have to be his mount. But the only thing is, is when did he do this? He didn't. The example at David's time, he battled them, and then he made them pay tribute after they conquered them. But they never possessed the land except for saying, we own, we're making these, pay tribute all these uh, peoples, um, all the way up to the Euphrates River, by the way, to the nation Israel. And this is what Solomon ruled as well as this here as area, but he was never desolate. The only time that our Creator is going to make him desolate is when he sends them away, but they aren't they aren't part of the nation of Israel. So this is just untrue. Uh, he did not hate Esau as well. So I don't think any of this is true right here because of what it, the, it's going to try to describe. So let me find something that's truthful. Edom says we have been beat down, but we will return and build up. Thus says why be they will build, but I will tear down and we no, this is not true. Um, the timeline that we're talking here, maybe, is got to be figured out as well. Whoops. Well, that isn't what I wanted to do. 99. Okay, I guess I can't blow that one up. Let me get to the timelines here. Okay, this is it. Now I can blow it up. Okay. Now, if it's talking about Israel, that's this side of the kings here. And what I know about here is that this is what Assyria is going to come down, and they're going to take these nations first, or these tribes land first, and then later they're going to come down and take more here. So the thing here is, where is Malachi actually speaking that uh, here in all these kings? So as you can see, the years here, these are very accurate. So. Um, Took me many years to make this, but um, I need more of the text to tell me where he's at. But if this to Israel, this side here, and your eyes will see this. And you will say, why be, be magnified beyond the borders of Israel? Well, we know that that's junk. Okay. 
Uh, a son honors his father. A servant honors his master. Or is, and a servant his master. If I am a father, where is my honor? If I am a master, where is my respect? Now, that could be made into a three or four verse format. Says Wyvie, this is no such thing here. Um, says Wyvie to the priest, the Israeli, um, it would be diviners. They, Israel's kings were on to the female goddess. So uh, I'm thinking that's going to come up in this text. So the thing here is, is um, uh, to I'm going to add the word the priest and just say I need to figure this out first to the priest. Despising oh, my name. Okay, what I'm having a trouble with in my thinking, just so why you heard dead air there. Um, most of the time, what happens is I have one major word and a second major word. As you see here, I'm using the word if and master, honor and where, if and father. But now here, what I'm getting is I'm getting one, two, three. So one, two, and then I can divide that. So, okay, but you say how have we despised your name? Now, if I come way back up here, words from YV to Israel through Malik. Um, through Malachi. And I'm going to use that. I'm going to use from and get rid of that word completely. Just say I'm replacing that word. Okay, now how come it's almost like this starts this? Why he says to the priest despising not my name but me. Me. And I don't need his name because he's because they were using his name to trick them. So, Bobby says to the priest despising me, priest despise. And it would have to be your, so I'm going to need this. Whoops. Yeah, 
your your priests despise me. Your priests despise me. But you say how? And there I have a comma for sure. Have we despised your name? A period. Okay, and I've got a comma here, and I've got a period here. Now I have found a four verse format. Okay. And this one I could have made two, three, or two threes, four. So I'm going to keep going and trying to work on the text to actually say what. Uh, what format do I need above? So here you are presenting defiled food upon my altar. Now, how the hell is all of a sudden an offering food? You defiled there, and it's not food, it's it's an offering. If you don't know what's going on here, it's that when they're atoning for not obeying any of one of the 12 commandments, our Creator told them to bring a sin offering. And this is why it's known as a tent for meeting with our Creator. And he established the priest and he established this animal. Uh, let's just take the ram or goat. They were to uh, sacrifice it outside the fence at where their priest sits. And then they will remove the hide and take the muscles and put them on a plate. And then they would take, this becomes an offering then that they're going to put on the hooks. Well, the altars have a like a stand and then they have hooks or maybe even just um, a bunch of rods going across that they're going to hang the meat over. They're going to slice it up thin so it burns up fast. Um, but that's the offering um, that will represent when it goes, when they burn it with fire, the male on the outside would see the smoke going up and then disappearing. That represents forgiveness, forget and forgiveness. So it's not food upon my altar. It's the offering. So, and from food to <laughs> there, I have to just say that's way too far to me to say that I'm just going to, I need to add a correct word here. You are presenting You are not, you are defiling the presenting. These words have to be switched around for it to make sense. You are presenting, you are divine. Let's see what the word presenting is in the, uh, in SAB here, this is verse 7. So, right here, when I click on this word, this is the word. And then down here, they tell me, let me just say here, hey, there's no single letter O in the Hebrew language. So, what's that doing there? <laughs> but anyways, what they'll do is say they're using the word approach seven times. And then as you see here, Come near, go present, presenting. And what I'm looking for is another large amount of word, approach. Approaching. You are approaching. 
approaching Hmm. I touch once went up. Um okay now let me see here defiled stained unclean okay so you are presenting okay if it's the priests that are despising him then it has to be that they are unclean now it has to be priest and it can't be Israel. It now has to be Judah. This has to be Judah. Okay. For the simple fact, this is, can only be going on in uh, Jerusalem. So we have to have that corrected right there. Because this is definitely talking about um, his altar. And it's not, and it's more than one. It would be altars, and then this would be a period, and this would be a comma. Before I go too much farther, I need to add that and say, "Gee whiz, there." Now, you are approaching. You are presenting. You are approaching unclean. Yeah, I'm going to use the word approaching. And I need to be able to look over here. Um, yes, they used it like 7 and 12, 19 times. So that's right here, by the way. So I don't have a way to color that text when you see it over there. So A P P R O A C H N G approaching approaching me unclean you are approaching me unclean with their with their offering Not upon, it has to be on my altars. On my altars. Okay. But you say, how have... See, this is... This is not right here. But you say, how... But this has already been said. That's the problem. So if it's already there, they don't repeat. Um, so And you say the table of wife is to be despised. That's like they're still trying to connect the word food here, which is wrong. Um, so, but when... Okay, I got to just keep track of time. I'm going to try to make these maybe two and a half hours long. But... 
Now this does need that when you present well, not when you present when you ac accept it a blind for sacrifice is this not evil? when they atone with a lame or sick, is that not evil? Why not offer it to your governor? <laughs> Would he be pleased with you? Or would he receive you kindly? And that says, but asks, oh, why be? Um, this, he would be speaking in third person. So the sum of this and it's weird because I'm getting a sense that these three verses are going to hook to these three and they're going to be separate from what this is because I don't have the other two to go with this. And it wouldn't be says, it would be declare, our creator's going to declare this. Declares why be. Your priest despise me. And and you will ask how. Ask me how. How have we despised your name? Okay, now this would be to the priests. And his answer is going to be, you are approaching me unclean with their offering, with their offering on my altars. Okay, and then there's going to be two verses that are missing. So... I'm going to add it as like that with a comma and like that with a period and separate it. Now that's that, but this is definitely, when you present a blind for when they present. Now that's odd because that would be the people come in and they know that that wouldn't be true. The blind for, for, and they aren't going to, it's not for sacrifice. And they present their blind for atonement. Okay. For atonement. got to use the right words to be correct. And this is going to be a period, and this is going to be, and this, this is the statement. And, and when you're talking, when you're seeing a three-verse format, this becomes the first verse here in a three-verse is like a statement, and then these two follow up with what that statement is about. So... Blind for their atonement, is it not evil? When they present the lame and sick, is it not evil?
And this is, these are wrong. These are wrong. Uh, the way I'm reading it, this is actually, it's not the statement. That's the answer to the statement. And the statement is, this isn't that evil goes here. Is it not evil when they present the blind for an atonement? That's more correct. Now, what I need to do is say, move verse up two verses. And then I can do the same thing here by putting that there, copying this, repeating it here. And that's the statement, and then, so I don't need this. Is that not evil when they present A lame is this or sick when they present blind, and I'm thinking it would be more diseased. Um, But whatever. But that seems to be here. Now, up here, a son honors his father, a servant his master. I want to break it here. Where is my honor? So let's see. My honor. If I am a master, where is my respect? And it wouldn't be if. I am... Israeli's master. I am really Israel's Israeli's master, which is Lord. Whoops. Lord. So this would be a period. This, this needs to go here. So this move verse down two verses okay and that I could copy that and then this is that move okay this I moved down this I'm going to be moving up. Uh, 
And I got to say, I forgot here. I read it and I forgot to finish the editing there. So let's see. Videos buffer and use low latency toggle under the advanced. Okay, where is the advance? It's lagging. Sorry, I've got to correct this. I'm getting a... No. I go over here. Video is video buffering. Use low latency toggle under the advanced menu. Where is the advanced menu? I'm not seeing an advanced menu. Well, I guess I got to figure that out, and I'm just disconnected from Twitch right now, so... No, I guess I gotta do a a search for that, but I'm not seeing what's going on here, but it seems that I'm live again, so that's good. So what I'm gonna do is keep on editing and maybe it's sewed back together. I don't know. But here I go. Uh, a son honors his father, and a servant his master. If I am a father, this has to be, what I want to do is move up. And then... Put that here. If I am your father, period, a son is to honor his father. A son is to honor his father, since I agree with that editing. I'll make it mine now.
A son is to honor his father. I would have to say just as a servant is master. And this would be comma and a period. Okay, because I'm thinking these two verses are going with these two verses because you can see they're going to be grouped to it. This is a small paragraph, this small paragraph, and they combine together because they make like a larger paragraph. And that's what's happening here because this here I got rid of or brought on. So... I'm finding pieces that it's going to need to be put together. So, um, let me see here. I can go down here. Why not offer it to your governor or please? Yep, yeah, this is just wrong. But now you will not entreat God's favor. that he may be gracious to us. Now see, this is like he's talking now to the people. Because a prophet usually has his own comments, but you can see that tell this is our creator not speaking. Now will, now you will not entreat God's favor. That he He is not gracious to us. He blesses us. That seems to be a statement here. With which an offering on your part will he receive any of you kindly? Says, <laughs> no, they're trying to make this as a creator saying it. I don't see any of that as true. Oh, that there were one among you who would shut the gates that you may not uselessly kindle fire on my altar. Now that is relating to this here text. Although it's also relating to this. Am I going to find the other two verses for that? And then get, get rid of that because it's going to continue. I'm not pleased with you, nor will I accept... their offerings from you. You know, that looks like I just found the end of this. You are approaching me unclean with their offering on my, with their offerings yeah, offerings on my altar. Yet, I am not pleased with you, it has to be so, not nor, that just is poor word, no, so I will. So I will, so I will not, I think that, that's, that's looking pretty strong here. So I will not accept 
they're offering from you. Now that is a long distance to find that that words, but it happens. But that means this. You know, this is where you would you should just shut the gates. Don't need the word all. It would be is there there one among you? That this. That, that verse is out. Is there not one among you? That you might not uselessly kindle fire on my altar. Not burn is the word. Not kindle, but burn. This burn on my altar. Burn it. I see the word it here. Burn it on. And I, since I'm using this word, then this would be my altars is the correct use there. There is not one among you. Is there one among you? Will not. Will not uselessly burn it on my own. There. That. This is a question. And that's the three verse, and that's going with this. <laughs> oh, man. That is going to be fun moving around here. So, and I think I'm froze up here on my screen. So, how do I get that going? Well, let's see, there's... I seem to be live, but it's really I, I'm going to try to knock the bit rate down so it's not maybe that's the problem. We do 4,000. Let's see if that helps the stream out any. I don't know. This is ridiculous. 
I come back over here on Twitch because YouTube is definitely not letting me stream for more than an hour and a half on even the lowest setting of everything that I'm doing. Okay, the bitrate has just been changed over here. So let me move the screen and see how long it takes. That's really a long time. I thought the 15 minute would, or 15 seconds was long. Now it's really longer than that. So let me It's not going to scroll down, so. Hmm. It has really got a lot of delay going. It is buffering bad. Oh. Oh well. Um. Let me just continue here, and I'll try some other settings tomorrow. Here, but. I've only been going for an hour, and since I'm recording it, I'll just try to go two and a half hours, then post it on YouTube here, because I don't know what's going on. Now, the, this has to be, I'll, I'll note that later, that I need to move those up. Uh, from the rising of the sun, even to its setting, my name will be great among the kingdoms, and every place hence is going to be offered to my name, in a grain offering that is pure, well, that's, this is wrong, but my name will be great among the kingdoms. Now, This, he's not worried about. That's just false. This is never true. So that's... And this is... And it's fruit, it's food, it's despised. And this is the Hebrew word for the word title Lord. I just put that in there for uh, people to know that I did check every one of those. Now, how come? Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have pieces that aren't making sense. Because this, <laughs> this is just not to be able to go with that other text above. So you also say, you also say, 
My, how tiresome. My, how tiresome it is. And you disdainfully sniff at it. When you bring what is taken by robbery and lame or sick to bring the offering, should I receive that from your hands? This is just not. But cursed be the swindler. Um, who has a male in his flock and vows it, but sacrifices a blemished animal? Uh, but I have, I, for I'm a great king, <laughs> says YB. And my name is to be feared by the... Okay, this is gone as well. All right, now... We've got some pieces here. Not much. But... They're there. That I can agree with. That I can actually make a format out of it. And it makes sense. Because you've seen how I'm looking for two verses or two groups to work together as a large paragraph. Um, so, now this commandment is for the priest. There is no command, there are only 12 commandments. So this has to be wrong. If you do not listen, and if you do not, make it too hard to honor my name, then I will send a curse upon you, and I'll curse your blessing, and indeed I have cursed them al already because you, because you are not taking it to heart. So why would he warn them and then not? So that is never said like that. I've done this for 30 years, and I can tell you, some people would try to find the three verse out of this, but the text is telling me this is just untruthful words. So, and well, let me see here. Yeah, this is just not true. Behold, I rebuke your offspring and spread refuge in your face. The refuge of your face and you'll be taken it away. I don't think so. Uh, our creator is either going to send them to hell or they're supposed to be obeying and enter um, into heaven. And hell is not yet made until the last day of man on earth. And then hell will be created. Then you will know That, that's not true. If this is Judy, he's going to send them away. And when they come back, he's going to reestablish them. And 
I'm going to put that text up now to show you that the text you're seeing there in there, um, not right at the beginning of it, but later you'll see that um, they're returning. But that's the story I've got of the return. So this is text is going to be before then. My covenant is with them it was one of life and peace. And I gave them reference. So stand in awe of my name. True instruction was in his mouth, and unrighteousness was not found on his lips. He walked with me in peace, in uprightness, and he turned back many from iniquity. Now this is almost actually like as it's talking about Jesus. But then this goes crazy here, because now it's a priest. And this, again, talking about Jesus as if it's Jesus. Okay. My covenant with him. Okay, let me just start by trying to see if this is Jesus or not. By putting this in here. My covenant with him that was one is a life. as a life with peace. And in him it would have to be Yah. That's his name the Hebrews gave him. Because if I'm looking for a second um, word, I've got covenant, but it's not a covenant. My agreement with Yah is a life for peace with me. Period. 
but this has got to be said. No, not covenant, my promise. My promise with Yah is a life with peace with me. And I got to put not peace, but forever. And I got to make that mine. That's the promise that he told David. So there, my promise with Yah, comma. Now you're probably wondering, okay, yeah, I better, the word yeah, uh, he's, I say it and then I just kind of forgot what I was going to do with that. But you know that they were supposed to wait for Jesus. <laughs> and this is um, Israel 38, verse 11. If I take the title and put in the correct Hebrew word that's there and just leave it like it is, I will not see Yah, Yah in the land of the living. That means that they were waiting for Yah. That's the name they gave him. Now, I can also use Psalm 149 here and say that here is his name, Yah, like I would have been in that other um, verse. And then you would see that down here, they said the name of the God of Israel, and they used it as capital letters all the time. But what about what if this is the name of the king of from Israel, uh, or Israelis. So the sing to Yah and sing to YV are new songs and praise and, and his praise or praise him in the congregation of the righteous ones and then um, let the sons of, or let the descendants from Israel rejoice in their king and let them praise his name with dancing. Well, the thing is, is praise his name, you got to say right here, praise who? Praise Yah. Praise his name. Praise Yah. So I'm going to make a video that does go over those. Um, all those words to show that Yah is a Hebrew name for Jesus. And I gave and I gave you to him. And I gave you to him I'm not seeing this sentence working as the next part. It's missing. The next two have that grouping. So if I get rid of this and I work with these two, or he will. He will revere me and revere me. But that's kind of like that's the end of it.
if I use this word with reverence, he will revere me. and stand walk and walk and walk in my name. He's going to be talking about our Creator as giving him the kingdom. So, so that's a four verse about Jesus. True instruction will it has to become from his mouth true instruction will come from his mouth true teaching instructions as Jesus taught true teachings will come from his mouth Uh, and no and add that no unrich righteousness. comes from his lips. There we go. These are going to be about Jesus. So, well, this is going to be this and this, this and this. These are words coming from our Creator. Oh, Jesus. No unrighteousness. Um, I need the word will. Uh, Okay. All right, this is getting very interesting now. It will walk with you will walk in peace. Uh, 
This is almost like our crater is the second subject here. So I, I can get a, I can use all this. What I'm saying is this here is well, the one word and this is the second word here. That's in this verse. You will walk with me in peace and uprightness. And turn back and turn many back from evilness. And this is about Jesus. We've got, when I find words about Jesus, it does make my day. It really does. Um, so, because I don't think I did this good of a job last time. That's why I'm going through these really slow in front of you, to make sure that I do a thought process as well I'm doing this. And let's see here. Um, to see what's going on here. It's still bothering me with Twitch here. So maybe I have to, <laughs> I got to get a new computer. That's all there is to it. Uh, he walked with me in peace and he will walk with me in peace and uprightness and turn And turn many back from back from their evilness. Their evilness. You can see all these words are our creator saying these. For he is for he is my messenger. Resume my messenger. It has to be the here, the, and I used teachings last time, teachings. From those Mo, for he is my messenger. Okay, now I found those two verses. Now I got to find these two verses. Mm -hmm. And man, not just men, let's include women. Our creator defined what the word man is, meaning male and female. So let's get back and use that and include women here. And man 
should seek. The teaching from his mouth, for he is my messenger. Man should seek him for, and I have to add the word for over here, for the teachings from his mouth. And man should seek or the teachings from his mouth. Okay. Now, how do I get which words here? Like a priest with knowledge, man should seek. He will preserve the knowledge. A man should seek. No. His lips. His, not his lips, but Oops, I'm going to go backwards. For his words. For his words. Our knowledge. His words are to be known, not knowledge, known. For his words for his words I can't use the word priest. I'm kind of quit with don't need that word, so I'm gonna get rid of this way. For his words preserve, I'm use I'm adding this our knowledge. So his words preserve. No, nope. can't use that word either. For his words, for his words are Knowledge of me. It's got to be of me. Okay, his words are knowledge of me, and, and man should seek. That man should seek. For his words are knowledge of me that man should seek. That man should seek for the teachings from his mouth. For the teachings from his mouth. For he is my messenger. So he's not part of the Trinity here in this one. Okay. Now, 
I think I'm going to do a clean up here right here of all the text that I've got done here. So although I should have done it, I should have done it at the end of this chapter. Why didn't I do that? I need to put it on a different page then. That's what I need to do. I'm just trying to clean it up a little bit here. What happened to that text? Now, I'm not sure how this is going to read, if it's smooth or not, because that's a different format than this. And then there's this one here. And this, almost like a read together. Oops. And then these two verses are going to go up there, but this is the first group. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this here, and it will be a PDF for everybody to see, so it better be here. Um, and I'll move that text later. Now I've got this text. And that's only because I've been going an hour well, let's see, how far is that? That's going to take another hour and a half to get, and that's just going to be too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video here and then see if I can change some settings and come back on uh, Twitch and see if I can actually get back to figure out how this is done on Twitch. So. But words of Jesus right there from our Creator. Okay. Wow, those are some awesome words. Anyways. That's what the text is going to look like. And I'm going to, like I said, start with the next one, but 
I'll post this on uh, YouTube and then go from there. So, um, other than that, it's a shame I can't get this stuff to work yet. I'm trying for months. Just now, it's just, I just need a new computer.